In today's story, I'll be telling you about a person who has found uses for resources that would have otherwise gone to waste. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, each from different countries, with each subject involved in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 33, the Central African Republic. Finding a subject for the Central African Republic has been by far and away the most difficult challenge in the project so far. I wrote to environmentalists, artists, businesses, the schools and universities, all with no joy. After about three months, I finally had a positive reply from the wonderful Bilkis Pakal, who is a fellow storyteller. Bilkis immediately understood the project and made contact with a few acquaintances, and rapidly we found a sitter. I want to thank Bilkis with all my heart for her faith in the project and the work she subsequently put in. The subject for my portrait for Central African Republic is Marlene Jeville Yambala, who uses natural products, often which would have gone to waste, to make food and cosmetic products through her business Getex Agri. Central African Republic is a landlocked country in Central Africa. It is bordered by three countries beginning with C, two with S and one beginning with D. The primary environmental concerns in Central African Republic include deforestation and desertification, pollution and cycles of political insecurity leading to inequality and poor governance of natural resources. Marlene has a 15-year background in account management. She identified the lack of processing of agricultural products in the Central African Republic and how, at the end of the markets or in the middle of the season, many vegetables and fruits were being thrown away if not sold. She taught herself about agriculture and became passionate about the subject. She decided to make transformation of this issue her goal, thereby giving life to quality products, add to the economy and allow agricultural sellers to have a source of income that would otherwise have been lost. Through Getex Agri, the company she created in July 2020, Marlene transforms unsold fruit and vegetables into preservative-free jams, juices and seasonings. Getex has a range of cosmetic products made from the processing of shea butter, cocoa butter and coconut oil and provides employment for six people. Getex also has a range of snacks that it produces in its artisanal processing unit. They apply the nothing is lost, everything is transformed philosophy, recovering the plantain skins from the chips which are then transformed into mokpapa soap for all skin types. Getex Agri, Marlene's company, is part of Getex Group, which works in partnership with producers of cassava paste located around Samba, 22 kilometres from Bangui, the capital city, and employing a further 20 people. This cassava paste is also transformed into cassava sticks, cassava flour, and the alcoholic drink Nuguli from fermented cassava waste, corn, and millet. Getex promotes the vision of manufactured in Centrafrique through training women to produce quality cassava, allowing an income generating activity. Getex is committed to participating in the economic and social empowerment of Central African women. Getex products are priced to make them accessible to all, and there are Getex shops throughout Bangui, at train stations, the airport, hotels, and in the Biafric Art Gallery of the Bangui Rock Club. Getex is founded upon selling quality products and respecting the environment, which is why they limit the use of plastic bags. 
GetEx uses biodegradable, reusable packaging for its snacks, spices and all its other products. For any purchase, a small bag in cloth is offered to the customer in order to make them aware of the protection of the environment. I'm always very thankful to anyone who agrees to be part of the project, but I would like to send special thanks to Marlene. I had become somewhat despondent after so many weeks of failing to find a Centrafrican subject that I had begun to question the viability of the project. Marlene's enthusiasm has rekindled my faith and the project marches on. If you'd like to find out more about Marlene and GetEx, I've put the links in the description below. Final words from Marlene are, save the forest to save the planet. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page, and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting an Indigenous rights activist and environmental campaigner representing Chad. <laughs>